Now, needing, as I demonstrated already and explained, Petrosage, number one on all area. And this is the most important techniques, kneading techniques. 50% of all time on all techniques, circulatory massage, what we're spending have to be spent on, on kneading techniques. Now, when you perform, and especially Petrosage number two, we're performing on one place. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Usually, client can report, oh, it's here, I feel localization of pain. They, these techniques helping us to discover localization of pain, and in such a case, we, we, we have to. All what we discover when pinpoint localization of pains is a trigger points, and we have to apply compression, ischemic compression. 10 seconds, we reach first threshold. It's, uh, now we can apply a little bit more pressure, additional 20 seconds. I do all with vibration at a time, and then first withdraw. As previously I explained, we know that we injured because we're suffering from pain limitation of range of motion. And uh, usually injured uh, region will be it uh, shoulder, uh, knee, uh, wrist, uh, elbow. All this uh, region uh, are painful, but these segments carry localization of pain. And this pinpoint, sharper level of localization of pain is a trigger point. Uh, it is crucial for uh, results and sustained results and full rehabilitation to detect these trigger points and to eliminate them by special techniques, what we call ischemic compression. Part of um, medical massage procedure is a trigger point therapy. Actually, this pinpoint localization of pain that all this segment, for example, uh, or, or this or here, painful. But this segment carry very pinpoint, very sharp uh, level of pain points that a uh, histological studies proving that this is kind of uh, points that suffering very much from decrease of blood supply. Means these points, cells of these points screaming, need more supply than available. Professor uh, Papilansky investigate this pinpoint localization of pain uh, through the histological study utilizing electronic microscope as well isotopes and come to conclusion, absolute conclusion, that this pinpoint localization of pain are suffering from ischemia, means demand of blood supply to these cells much higher than available. Now, trigger point therapy is basically ischemic compression. What happened when we will detect, where is this a pinpoint localization of pain, we will start, and as you can see, the tip of the finger is, uh, area is uh, bigger than, than this uh, very millimeters of um, these points. You find this trigger point and gradually, gradually start compressing. You're compressing to the point and until you reach the threshold of pain. More, you don't have to force, you feel it's pretty painful, but um, have to be painful like Chinese calling this kind of pain, healing pain. And not to, to make protective muscular jump, it's kind of pleasant even pain. And first 10 seconds we're holding like this. Now, uh, what happened under tip of my fingers? I practically stop blood supply to uh, these uh, points that already used to suffer from insufficiency of blood supply. Around my finger, by nature, blood, arterial blood uh, flow under pressure and start accumulating. I abstract the supply to, to, to this point. And arterial blood start accumulating around my tip of the fingers. Vasomotor centers worry about total 
obstruction of blood supply and giving orders to vessels to dilate. And now look at combination. Vessels under my fingers dilated and a lot of blood right now accumulated around my fingers. After holding like this 10 seconds, threshold of pain usually um, increase significant. And I will compress a little bit more to the second uh, uh, threshold of uh, pain. Actually, we're getting to the button of trigger point. And I will hold that for additional 20 seconds. When totally 30 seconds of compression will be done, and you in, in your heart can account one, two, three, to the 30. And again, please imagine what happened under my tip of the fingers. A lot of blood accumulated, a lot of vasodilation and fast withdrawal, blood rushing to the disc trigger points and eliminating this ischemia, balancing demand and uh, available supply of uh, blood. Uh, also very important to perform a uh, scapular manipulation. In this type of injury, it is very important uh, to provide scapular manipulation. A lot of uh, antagonism in this movement will, will help us to reach uh, a lot of uh, even fascial structure, but uh, mainly muscles, and will uh, help us uh, to recover. Not only will reduce what is our desire is to reduce tension with the muscles, but also will uh, help us to discover additional trigger points because when this locked, it's sometime you palpate and you don't have it. Now, mm, if we're mobilizing uh, left uh, region with right one third from the knee, or whatever the height of uh, of uh, a table and your height, you you just immobilize. Forearm, true forearm. You see where where is the elbow region, but this is not not arm forearm area. Mm -hmm. The right hand we're placing under a uh, shoulder joint on projection like this. And look, I try a little bit to move to lift it. You can see scapula a little bit much more defined, and on all these uh, defined bo borders on this edge. We, we just placing like this thumb. And uh, when we place, if you will put on, on scapula bone, uh, no mobilization will be. You, you with this pressure will resist pressure from uh, behind. Therefore, the best, like this, little bit. Oh, we see where is the border and on border. And then together, slowly, this little compression with left hand, but with my right hand I, I'm lifting. By the way, to, to balance biomechanics disturbances and we do special um, uh, treatment, cranial sacral uh, therapy as it was proposed by uh, Bulgarian scientist Boris Ivanov, we, scapula is involved in this part because to correct biomechanics in, in, in with no this um, massive manipulation, it's uh, very difficult uh, as well. Due to nature of these sprain strain injuries, it's necessary. This five, six times like this. Now the one time when I lift, I will fix it like this, and you see it's extending. And it with thumb, with thumb, with tip of the thumb, you can do with fingers, with thumb. You just this seven, eight times. You compress as much and as possible a little bit under scapula, and you providing this kind of stroke under pressure. Mm -hmm. The next step, as it uh, fixed and immobilized uh, by my tie, I, from here I will place on the top my hand and I will if it uh, pretty large and strong, I would do with both hands back because we need to achieve the mass, 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 mass stretching to activate uh, Golgi organs, yeah, even a few times. And then slowly, slowly, all uh, structure even to flex angle if there's not enough. By pushing a stretch, hold. It's very difficult uh, otherwise to, to address all this 
Uh, you can even play like this. One maximum. Two. One. Two. One. Two. Oh, just like this. Again, the classic mistake to avoid, when you mobilizing this way, don't push angle, like, again, it's have directly up. Yeah, otherwise you, you just minimizing the maximum stretching that we would like to have. 